as it relates to the demoralization that this may be causing within the department and Baha by extension, on the contrary, I would hope that public officers um, are not demoralized, but are in fact motivated and empowered to know that you can say no to political directives or political instructions or political favors. You can say no. If any instruction, favor, or request is being made to you, which is in contravention to any law or convention, you can say no. You are protected by the regulations and you are protected by law. The PM alluded to saying that, um, well, I don't know the young lady, but he turned around in the following sentence and said he knows the mother-in-law and that the young lady is investing her whole life savings. So he also needs to choose his words wisely um, when giving these emotional interviews um, in an attempt to justify his actions, which in my humble view was out of line. I think he owes that officer an apology and not only that officer owes him an apology, if it is that that officer might have used tone that um, is unbecoming of public officers. I don't know, I wasn't there, I, I don't have a recording of the conversation, but my account of the conversation is that the prime minister also intended to impose himself by using certain words to the officer.